Look at the sunburn. God. Yeah, that girl's gonna have cancer when she's older for sure. <laughs> she's on fire. Look at this motherfucker oh. go. And people are still just flipping their shit. Just lost in the rock and roll, man. From Florida, bitches! Oh, yes, yeah, Jacksonville, Duval. Woo! So I got a Skinner story. And I'm sure, I hope I'm allowed to talk about it. I'm sure Ross won't mind. They have, they filmed, they were filming a special for Skinner last year, uh, late last year. And they called, and I got the invite to sing Tuesday's Gone with them for this special. Whoa. And I, we had heard and knew from publications that Gary Rossington was getting, dealing with some heart stuff, you know? So there was this kind of quietly unsaid, like, this might be one of his last specials. You know, he's, he's the last standing member, right? And I go to do rehearsal with him. And, of course, Johnny's there, Johnny Van Zandt, great guy. He's been singing with him, you know, 30 years, you know? Uh, how, however long, I think 30 years, forever. Uh, Peter Keys is on the keys. I know a couple of guys, and I go meet Gary. And he is the sweetest, kindest man, Joe. And he just keeps thanking me for coming to do this. I'm doing a fucking Skinner thing. A tribute. I grew up in the South, Joe. This is insane for me. You know what right, I'm saying? This right, is like right. where I'm from, Jesus Skinner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In football somewhere. You know, they were fought for primetime television around right. us. And I'm going to leave from rehearsal that day. And I looked behind me because I heard some, some feet shuffling. And Gary was chasing me, Joe, to the door. To turn around and go, man, I just can't thank you enough for doing this, man. This is so awesome that you took the time out. It's just like wow. fucking legend. And I, I talked to his manager, and his manager said, is there anything you can do for us? And I was like, I kind of, frankly, I don't ever ask, but I kind of want an autograph. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, but uh, he said, no, no, don't worry. He's already got something planned for y'all. So when I get to the green room the night of the tape, special taping, there's a guitar in the green room signed by the band and Gary. And a poster signed by Gary for my mother. Wow. Yep. This is it. You are fucking wild, Jamie. Jamie's the It's mess. scary, to be honest. This is the footage from it. And I think, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think it went on to be his last performance. Wow. And it gets, the story gets even wilder. They, <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say this part. They say, can you come and touch up, like, just come. They want you to listen and see if you need to touch up a vocal, right? They just give you an option. They just, they just, you know what I mean? And I was like, all right, cool, because they were going to put it out. And I just had to go approve, and they want you to approve it in person. And if you need to sing, they'll allow you to sing sometimes. Some specials won't. This maybe two inside sausage. But I was going the day that Gary was going to finish putting licks on their new record or some new music they were working on. That's the day he died. I woke up that morning to the news that Gary Rossington had died, and I was fixing to see him at the studio in six, three hours. And uh, his team hit me and said, we know just with Gary's spirit and energy that what he'd want for you to do today is go down there if you have time. And I still went, and I approved the vocal. I didn't have to make no changes or touch-ups. He just wanted to make sure I was cool with some stuff and approve, you know, just approval shit, just respectful. And uh, it was crazy, man, because his Gary Rosington's guitar tech walks in, Joe, and he looks over at the engineer, the producer, has been working with Gary for 30 years or whatever, 40 years, however long he's been doing it. These guys, tight crew, guitar tech looks and goes, I was tuning, I was stringing his guitar when I got the call for today's session. I was like, look, it might be a bad time to say this, but how poetic. Mm. Could you imagine being that dude talking about the greatest guitar solos ever written, guitar tech, and you find out he passed away while you're holding his baby? Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know, just unreal. Like, what a way to go. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like synchronicity. Yeah, dude. I mean, he survived plane crashes. You know what I'm saying? They went through <laughs> right. some shit, dude. Skinner right. went through some shit, dude. Right. Yeah, they were fucking, you know, it's wild, man. So. That's dope. And I hope hopefully that special comes out this year because that was 
a, just a night I'll never forget. And it just, he was so sweet. And there, I hope that shows this on stage. I walked over to him at the end of Tuesday's Gone Joe when he's doing his solo. And as soon as he finishes, I just grab him by his shoulders and I kiss him on the forehead and I just hug him. And I just whisper, man, you have, you, you in, impacted me in such a way. You will never know how much you've changed how I feel about music, you know. And I know that in my spirit that the last time I seen Gary Rosington, I gave that man his fucking flowers. Oh, that's, you know what I'm saying? Nice. I get teary out again, dude, just that's talking about beautiful. it. Just that I just because I felt like I felt it. You know what I mean? So I got yeah. a show with Willie Nelson at the end of this month. Wow. Crazy, right? I'm doing a show with Willie <sighs> Nelson. Yeah. And we're launching our weed brand the same day. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> in Michigan. Bro, you're doing a show with Willie. Yep. I think he's only doing like 25 this year or something. You almost had to win the lottery to get one. It's Where a big are you deal. doing it? Where's it going to be? Uh, the Soaring Eagle in Michigan. Wow. It's in northern Michigan. It's a casino outside gig right here right here at the end of May. Wow. Yeah, you got to see Willie before he goes, folks. Yeah, God, you got to go see Willie, yeah. man. Yeah. I just want I want to see Trigger as much as I want to see Willie. That's what he calls his guitar, is Trigger. Oh. <laughs> He's had the same guitar all these years. Really? Yeah, and it's got a uh, uh pull up Trigger if you don't mind, Jamie. You got to see this, Joe. You'll love this shit. It's the wildest shit. It's uh where he how how he picks. It's got an indent where his fingers go inside the wood. And oh, when wow. they fix it, they fix it around it. Right there is where he sets his hand. What? Yep. Wow. Yep, it's called Trigger. The joke he's made is he'll quit touring when they can't fix Trigger. Wow, look at that. It's worn into his hand. Yeah, worn into his hand, right there. Because <laughs> that's how, he, when he'll pick that way. It's crazy, man. Wow. Yeah, I was excited to see the guitars. I am him. I got to see him once. I haven't met him, though, so this will be big. Yep, it's us. My buddy Ernest. Yeah. Talk about Ernest. Ernest on that list is a Nashville boy, is a good friend of mine. He he wrote Son of a Sinner with me, and uh, Ernest has had I think eight or nine number ones. He's wrote for other people. Just big hit songwriter, Nashville boy. Imagine yourself at that low moment when they tell you you just had a kid. Mm. Imagine now you oh. on stage with Willie Nelson. Like what a crazy dream. <laughs> What a crazy simulation you're in. If the simulation's real, brother, 